So let's talk about the general Linux news for the week. In a wonderful way to start off 2011, kernel version 2.6.37 final released this week. This comes with symmetric multiprocessor enhancements for ext4 and xfs file systems. They've essentially removed the big kernel lock at this point so developers can just go without using it entirely. And they included a large number of new and updated drivers, including a new Intel i915 driver, a new Nouveau driver, a new Radeon driver, a new Atheros driver, IPv6 enhancements, and some memory management improvements. So I cannot wait to try this out on Arch Linux whenever it gets there. And of course, 2637 or possibly 2638 should be included in the new version of Ubuntu when it comes out in April. All right, let's move on to some distro releases. This week, Moon OS version 4 released. This is an Ubuntu-based desktop distribution with a custom file hierarchy and an experimental application framework. In addition, Pardis Linux 2011's release candidate is now available. This comes with kernel version 2.6.37 release candidate 8, so you should be able to see a lot of the same features I just discussed about it earlier. In addition, AMD and NVIDIA users are now given the option to select between the open source and the proprietary drivers after installing. To be honest, I tried out Pardis' beta a little while back, and the fact the NVIDIA proprietary driver was not working was kind of off-putting, but seeing that it works now, wonderful. In addition, Peppermint OS 1 and Crunchbang Linux put out new spins of their distros. They are rolling releases, so they're just respins. And Puppy Linux 5.2 released. Now speaking of software releases, Handbrake version 0.9.5 released this week. If you're not familiar with Handbrake, it allows you to convert from one video type to another, specifically from a DVD to a media file of some sort, an AVI, an MP4, whatever you want to make it. Well, in this new version, they've added Blu-ray support, they've improved the DVD main feature detection, and they've added support for multiple instances of the software running on Linux. And if you haven't tried out Handbrake in the past and you want to back up your personal DVDs, this is a wonderful way to do it. In another bit of software release news, Drupal version 7 released this week. Drupal, if you're not familiar with it, is a content management system used to power millions of websites and web applications such as whitehouse.gov. It's very similar to something like Joomla with a lot more features than something like WordPress, which I use. But this comes with a new UI, it comes with better image handling, better security, and some stability improvements. So if you've never tried out Drupal and you are interested in it, now is the perfect time to get into it. And the last bit of software type news I'd like to talk about, John O'Bacon, the Ubuntu community manager and frontman for metal band Severed Fifth, has announced on his forum that he would like to create a desktop application for Severed Fifth. He wants it to show news, tweets, play media from the band, have an embedded IRC client just like his Learned program does, and have a current project box with all the available projects for the street team for Severed Fifth. If you know Python and Quickly and are interested in making the app or helping out in some way, Go ahead and go to their forums and let them know that you're interested. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the ride. Hopefully they will have an application available soon for those people that are interested in Severed Fifth. And the last real news story I'd like to talk about that's related to Linux is one that's close to me. This is one of the first stories that I ever talked about on This Week in Linux, and it's one of them that really got a lot of popularity at the time. Almost a full year ago, a company called Mesa Digital announced they were going to be making a digital guitar. Now, how does this apply to us? Because it runs Linux. Now, I'm not sure if this happened this week or if they announced it a week or two ago, something like that. The Mesa Digital guitar is now available for pre-order. It's called the Katara, and it's crafted with a high-density injected molded ABS polymer. It comes with a built-in MIDI controller and an onboard digital synthesizer with an 8-inch multi-touch display. Like I said before, it is running Gen 2 Linux, and you can pre-order it for $850, though there is a limited edition available as well that runs you about $2,900. The last thing I would like to mention here, if you are in the Indiana area and you like to go to Linux conferences, there's going to be one held in March of this year, March 25th through the 27th. If you head over to indianalinux.org, Org, you can get more information on it. But like I said, it's going to be March 25th through the 27th at the Wyndham Indianapolis West Hotel in Indianapolis, Indiana. It is entirely free if you want to go, or $65 if you want to pay for the supporter package, which comes with a t-shirt. They've already got a keynote speaker lined up, but they are still looking for other speakers, so if you are someone who would like to give a speech at an event like this, you can definitely submit your talk. And if there's something you'd like to see me talk about at Indiana Linux Fest, definitely let me know. I'm thinking about submitting a proposal, but I don't really know what to talk about yet. But that's all the general Linux news for today. I'll have a link here so you can go back to the main interactive video and move on to any Android or Ubuntu news that you're interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching if you are ending here, and have a great day!